All right, here we are in Shenandoah National Park on Skyline Drive. It is 2.45 in the morning and it's 42 degrees. We are going to do some night photography. The moon is out, so we're not getting any deep sky shots and the Milky Way is not visible anyway. So what we are doing is hoping to get some, some nice shots, see what we get, see what I can find, and hopefully stick around for sunrise. So we'll see how the night goes. So. Here. Stay tuned, we'll see what happens. So looking out over the hill there's some there's some haze. So I'm thinking that might make for a good sunrise or some good shots. So I'm kind of optimistic about this this uh, shoot. So you can't see it, but the moon is up and Orion is up and it's real pretty so hopefully I can get that into a into a picture that would be really nice if you can make out those trees on the right hand side got those in my frame with uh, Orion over top of them so my ISO is at 6400 shutter speed is varying between 10 seconds and 30 seconds with the f-stop varying between 8 and 5.6, trying out different exposures. I'm not sure which one's going to look the best when I get it home on the on the computer. So I took several, but I like the I like the frame framing, I like the composition. So we'll see how that works. This is just trying to give you an idea of how this looks. So let me go closer. Here's a picture of my travel buddy, Sparky. Came along for the ride. Sparky! Good boy. took a shot of this tree as well. So nighttime photography is at an end. We're at the astronomical twilight at 6.08 a.m. So we got possibly got three shots. I guess only time will tell. Um, you probably know that already from the video, so you know more than I do at this point. Um, you know, night photography is really hard because you really have to envision your shot, and it's really not there. Like when there's light. You can see the shot, you can frame the shot, and it's, it's just it's just there. So, you know, nighttime photography, you know, it, it's, it's a challenge. It takes a little bit more creativity, a little bit more... A little bit more, um... You just have to, you just have to see a little bit better. So, and then don't even get me started on making a video at night. That just turns, turned out to be a pain in the butt. Um... You know, I can't set the camera up with the light or the because the light gets into the shot and then it ruins the shot. So, you know, I can only show you what I was looking at. 
I can't show you the actual taking of the shot because, like I said, the light gets in the shot and ruins it. So, um, that's about it. I'm sitting here waiting for sunrise to come. That'll probably be the next video. So, we'll see what we get with once the sun comes up. Um, but yeah, it's been a fun night. I like shooting at night. I like being out at night. It just, just feels like I have the whole world to myself. I've seen one other car the whole four hours I've been in the park. So that's that's nice. Um, no bears, lots of deer, a possum, uh, a bird that I don't know what it was, a night jar of some sort, I assume. Um, so, sunrise is going to be at about 7.30, so I've got about an hour and a half for that. So I'm just going to chill out and maybe get a wink of sleep. So, thank you very much, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.